Today we're going to show you the difference between the nominal interest rate and the effective interest rate. Hey, if you're new, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn. I teach a lot of financial literacy. So let's get started with this nominal versus effective. Nominal is the rate of return, and we a lot of times we call it the annual percentage rate or APR. It is the stated rate without considering any compounding, so like monthly or annually, um, semi-annually, whatever. Uh, it could be daily, 365 days, or whatever. Now, the effective rate is the rate that you really earn based on the interest rate and compounding. So this is a, a better rate to understand really what you've earned. So usually the effective rate is going to be greater than the nominal rate as long as there's compounding. Now, if compounding is one, then the the nominal rate will equal the effective rate. And I've got some examples here. I'm going to do two examples to show you the difference between nominal versus effective. So let's have our first little problem here where the annual is we have $100 invested at 8% compounded annually. So it's really simple. We're going to take $100 and then we're going to grow it at 8%. So how much interest would you earn? Well, $100 times 8%. Remember, 8% is 0 0.08 in decimal format. So you're going to earn $8. And how much will you have at the very end? Well, 100 plus 8 is going to be $108. And so we've earned 8%. Well, what is that effective rate? Well, the effective rate is going to be the interest we've earned. And I'm going to take it by uh, the 108 minus the 100 and you know we've earned $8, and the investment, the original investment, is $100. So what is our effective rate? Well, super simple, 8 divided by 100, and it's just going to be 8%. So if there is annual compounding, then the effective and the nominal are going to be the same. But a lot of interest uh, calculations are not compounded annually. They could be compounded quarterly. That's four times a year every three months. Could be uh, semi-annually, twice a year every six months. Could be monthly, could be daily. Monthly would be 12 times a year. Daily would be 365 days a year. So compounding frequency makes the effective rate be higher than the nominal rate. So let me show you what I mean. We're going to do a little problem. I've set it up so you can kind of understand. What if it's a hundred percent, hundred dollars rather, invested at eight percent compounded quarterly? So that means every three months you're going to get eight percent divided by four. So what we have is over the four quarters, every three months, we're going to have a total of eight percent. So we take 8 divided by 4 and we get 2% every quarter. So we're going to start with 100. All right, there's our $100. And we're going to take the 100 times 2% and you're going to earn $2. So now you'll have a total of 102. And then you're going to earn 2% on top of that. So 102 times 2%. You've earned 2.04. Now you're going to earn a little bit more because you have interest on top of interest. The $100, 2% would be $2, but the $2 also earns 2% or you, you earn an extra four cents. <laughs> How exciting is that? We earned four more cents. That's exciting. Well, so what happens is 102 plus 204. Now you have a balance at the end of June, after two quarters, you have $104.04. And now we calculate interest on top of that number. So 104 times 2% is going to be 208. And now 104 plus 208 is going to be uh, 106 and 12 cents. And then we're going to earn another 2% on top of that. So 106 times 2% is $2.12. So what do we have at the end of December after the fourth quarter? We have 106 plus $2.12. We've earned, uh, we have now a total of 108 and 24. We've earned $8.24 
because we have interest on top of interest. This is compounded quarterly. This is compound interest. So what is our effective rate now? Well, our effective rate is, let's take the 108, our total, minus the 100 original would give us how much interest we've earned. Divide it by the initial investment of 100, and we can take the 824 divided by 100, and our effective rate is now 8.24. In both of these problems, we had an 8% nominal rate, an 8% APR, but because we compounded it four times a year, we'd have 8.24% is our effective rate. It's like we received eight and almost a quarter percent for the entire year if it's compounded just one time a year. So this is the example of how nominal, remember nominal right here is 8%, but your effective based on the compounding is really 8.24%. So I got several videos here about nominal and uh, effective and how you can take the calculation and convert nominal to effective. It's easy to do on Excel, easy to do on a calculator. There's a formula. So we'll show you how this works. So we'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.